in an eukaryotic cell the ribosome forms a newly formed protein on it this is a hsp 70 machinery hsp stands for heat shock protein the hsp 70 machinery then binds to the newly formed protein from the ribosome the hsp 70 machinery binds to about 7 hydrophobic amino acids on a newly formed protein before it leaves the ribosome the atp then binds to the bounded hsp 70 machinery a set of smaller hsp 40 proteins helps the atp bound hsp 70 molecules to grasp the newly formed protein on the ribosome in the next step the hsp 70 protein hydrolyzes its bound atp to form adp and pi due to this atp hydrolysis the hsp 70 molecule undergoes a conformational change due to this conformational change hsp 70 molecule associates more tightly with the released protein from the ribosome the adp and pi formed due to atp hydrolysis are then released the hsp 40 protein then dissociates from the released protein from the ribosome the atp then rapidly rebinds with bounded hsp 70 machinery this atp rebinding induces the dissociation of hsp 70 machinery from the released protein now in one case the hsp 60 and hsp 70 use many cycles of atp hydrolysis to form a correctly folded protein from the protein released from the ribosome in another case if hsp 60 and hsp 70 do not use many cycles of atp hydrolysis then the protein released from the ribosome forms an incorrectly folded protein please like subscribe and share